what it's going to be all about. If you don't, then I don't know how you've got here. <laughs> but um, my name is Laura and I am the host of the Lonely Knitter podcast. It is a knitting podcast. I call it my knit night. It is usually weekly, though sometimes can be a bit sporadic if not. Um, and on the podcast, I talk about knitting. I'm a part of a knitting online community, have made tons of friends, and I host giveaways. So I host giveaways when I hit milestones when it comes to subscribers. And I also run um, knit alongs with my friend Katie of the Georgie Knits podcast at the moment. Um, we have the Facebook group Knit Along with Georgie Knits and the Lonely Knitter. And yeah, there are giveaways. <laughs> and I've been thinking for a while that as a mum with a young child and another baby on the way, uh, who only works part time and doesn't have a very large yarn budget, that giveaways are something I absolutely love to do, but that I can't necessarily afford to always do them. And there, <laughs> my friend Katie had started a patron, a Patreon account, and had spoken to me about potentially starting one. Now, I've written a list of reasons as to why I would want to start them, and then eventually I have started one. So I thought if you are considering signing up to become a patron of the Lonely Knitter podcast, then I would just share um, what my reasoning is here. So if you were to become a patron and um, pledged money through the Patreon system, I would use that money to fund giveaway prizes. At the moment, I do have a lot of amazing people who donate prizes, so quite often I don't have to spend money there, which is fabulous. But if I was ever in need of them, I would have that money set aside to buy from members of our community to be able to then pass those, on, those things on in giveaways. I would also be able to fund the postage for giveaways because whilst so many people are amazing and send things to me to give away to you guys, um, when it comes to posting them out, that is something that I have to foot the cost for. And whilst I am fine doing that while I can afford it, sometimes I um, struggle. And I like to have my giveaways be international because as someone in the UK who watches a lot of um, US and Canadian and um, from other places in the world, um, you, uh, YouTube podcasts in particular, uh, I love being able to enter from everywhere. So I would always want to give people the same opportunity. Uh, there is also, um, I, uh, I try and get to a few festivals around the UK um, in the year. I'll have been able to do a few this year, but I haven't really vlogged them. I'm going to be going to one soon that I'm hoping to vlog. And to be able to potentially go to more of these and vlog them and create more content for the channel, um, I would need to have some cash behind that. So potentially something from Patreon, Patreon could go towards helping with that. Uh, there's also um, podcasting equipment. So I podcast from my phone. Everyone can podcast, as Katie would say. <laughs> And um, I edit on iMovie and it is all a free process. It just costs my time, um, which is not insignificant. <laughs> I do spend quite a bit of time usually sorting the podcast out. Um, I realise I'm saying um, a lot. Oh, my anxiety is like here. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I would love one day to be able to save up to have a proper camera to podcast with and potentially proper lighting and not the funny lighting from our jazzy light shade in my bedroom <laughs> or the awful lighting from my kitchen. So um, these are all things that could potentially happen if I started a Patreon account and had something coming in from there. I am going to be going on maternity leave shortly and when I do, my finances will be affected. And so being able to bring giveaways and posting out giveaways to people is something that is going to become even more limited for me. And I would love to prevent that from happening. So I've come up with Patreon tiers 
that can be signed up to if you so choose. And I don't want this to affect the normal day-to-day -day running of the podcast. So the podcast will still go out as often as I am able to, and it will still be available for everyone. I can't afford to sign up to most people's Patreons. I do a few, at, that is the max I can afford to do. And um, I love that I'm still able to share and watch so many other podcasts. But to help me fund the things that I'd like to fund, um, mainly giveaways, because I love them and they're so fun, <laughs> uh, I was gonna set up a Patreon that would have tiers that would help towards that. So my three tiers are as follows. The current bronze tier is a $1, and it is in dollars because Patreon is an American site. $1 Patreon a month would give you entry into a quarterly giveaway. So it's like buying a raffle ticket. It would give you a personal thank you on the podcast. And it would give what I'm calling pattern call out test videos. So basically when I am going to be having a new pattern coming out for release, I will record a little video chatting about it and um, going into detail about what I was thinking or what I have done. And then I would, you know, call out for test knits as well because a lot of people have asked me for that. So you would then get the priority to test knit if you so wished. <laughs> um, so basically you're buying a raffle ticket into the quarterly giveaway. The $2 a month Patreon, you would get those things with the bronze, but you would also get all of my patterns on Ravelry for free. Every month I would issue a code that you can use for that month to download any and all of my patterns every single month. Um, that does then mean that if you stop being a patron, the next month you wouldn't get the code. So any new patterns that come out, you wouldn't then get for free. So you have to stay being a patron to then continue getting them for free. Uh, and you would also get occasional rant slash life videos. <laughs> I have thought a lot about this and there are a lot of things that I would love to chit chat about. Um, so if I do those, I think I'm just gonna make them for my silver and gold <laughs> patrons and they can be just the ones to judge me on them. <laughs> um, and then the highest tier that I will have is a $5 tier. So $5 a month will get you the bronze and silver things. And then you would also get, um, I'm getting a spinning wheel, that's quite soon, a, um, an e-spinner as a matter of fact. And I also can spin on a drop spindle. I have other crafty hobbies. I like to bullet journal um, and cross stitch sew. I have quilts. Like I, I, I have done slash do do a lot of things. So I potentially would do other little vlogs and um, videos surrounding those things if you were interested. Um, I also have a couple of tutorial ideas, but those may be a little while in the making. And there would be another extra six monthly giveaway just for the gold patrons. Um, so yeah, you would get the entries into the quarterly giveaway along with the bronze and silver, but as a gold patron, you would also get an entry into the gold um, giveaway, which would be every six months. And um, because I, don't imagine I will have that many <laughs> subscribers. I'm not sure, um, patrons, I'm not sure how this is gonna go. This might go awfully. I might have like two people <laughs> who I would love and treasure to bits, but um, they would have very high odds <laughs> of winning those quarterly and six monthly giveaways. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> those are the things that I have sort of put out and thought about so far. Uh, if you would fancy becoming a patron of the podcast I would absolutely love that it would make me feel like it was something that I could carry on with um I realize that not everyone has the cash to do that I would not you know I would not think anything less of you or you know I I have no judgment <laughs> because as myself I don't always have the cash to put into those sort of things but I still want to know that someone is my friend or that I am supporting them by watching. So you are supporting just by watching. But if you would like the chance at those extra giveaways and also the good fuzzy warm feelings of knowing that you are helping me keep the podcast going to, um, to a standard that I would be really happy with and um, that you, 
I was gonna say something else. <laughs> yeah, if you wanted to know that you were doing, helping me keep the podcast going, and also um, getting those giveaway entries, then I would really appreciate it and be very grateful. Oh, and the other thing I didn't mention is that anyone who becomes a patron will then get a mention on the podcast. A little thank you very much for becoming a patron. Unless you would rather I didn't, in which case you can just send me a message and say, please don't mention me. <laughs> I think that's everything. Um, if you do even consider signing up, I am so, 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 so grateful. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you so much if you've just watched this ramble. I have been so nervous about posting this. I'm sweating. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely very scared. So we will see how it goes. Um, yeah, thank you so much. And thank you so much for considering this. Thank you as always for making me so much less of a lonely knitter.